I've been a detective for 23 years. I've seen it all from gunshots to bodies chopped into pieces and served at diners. There's not one investigation that I've been a part of that I have not solved. You could say it's because of my experience. I like to say I've solved them all because I am always a step ahead of the crime in this town. Once you solve one, you've solved them all. Always look in the shadows, because when you think no one is watching, you are always in your weakest state of mind. So the only prints on the envelope and the photo are mine. Yeah, it appears he must have been wearing gloves. You said this was right by your front door? Somebody slid that photo under my door last night sometime. It's really weird. You should take this over to Richard in Crime Relations and see if he can figure out who this guy is. Yeah, very strange. I don't recognize the man. I'll have to scan it to see if we can find something in our files. It just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's so strange. Just, just to find it at your house? We need to get a date on this image. Can you enlarge that? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. All right. Well, we gotta start with clothing first. I mean, he's, he's wearing a, a parka. If I do a quick search of the jacket, Uh, looks like it's from this year. What's what's that background? What what's what is that? It kind of looks like it's downtown. Downtown. Hmm. It does. It looks like it's right in front of the movie theater. So we know this is this picture was taken recently. Hmm. I was never at this crime scene, and I've never seen that man before. I guess I would check records for the last five years for crimes in the downtown area. I, that's where I'd start. These are all the files on every homicide in the last five years. Why don't you give me some of those? Not one file. 
Yeah, I've got nothing either. Nothing in that general area at all. Could this be a fake photo? Hey, Nelson, come over here. Find the guy yet? We can't find anything. Tell us, could that be faked? I don't think it's a fake. You know, I scanned that. Let's let's bring it up on the computer. Yeah, look at the lighting and everything. Yeah, Stansky, I think it's legit. It's an actual Polaroid picture. How do you fake that? This is definitely a real photo. I just don't get how we have no record of this murder. It's too bad you can't see the whole car, just the headlights. I'm gonna go down there. Take a look around. Good idea. Hey man, I'm heading home. Rich, have a good night and a Merry Christmas. Same to you. Hey, I'll see you at the banquet tomorrow night, right? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Ray, you're getting an award for all the work you've been doing for the department. I know. I, I just I just totally forgot. I, I just uh, been too into this photo. Forget about the photo. Go home. Invite your daughter over, have some fun. Well, they're kind of uh, at Deb's house for the Christmas. Well then, go home, make yourself a cup of coffee, watch a movie and relax a little bit. Will do. Have a good night. You too, Ray. Merry Christmas. Same to you, Rich. So the only prints on the envelope and the photo are mine. Are mine. Are mine. Well, Deb is up there with my daughter, and uh, I feel like I want to kind of give him some space this year. How long have you and Debbie been divorced? Five years. Ah! Uh...